All right, so this is my 1985 M1009. It's pretty much the uh, military version of the K5 Blazer. So it was used by the military, and then the the fire department got a hold of it. You can see the you know the red paint under it, and the guy I bought it from put some mediocre camouflage paint job on it, but I think he's just trying to get it back to the military look. But, uh, yeah, so it's a heavy duty, you know, the toe and shackles, slave, slave cable port. It's a 24 volt system. So I've got a solar charger that plugs right up to there. It's like a trickle charger. Uh, it's got blackout lights. Show you the inside. Uh, original seats. There's the back. Uh, aftermarket speakers. Guy bought it from, put those in it. And uh, along with the radio. Um, so you can see blackout lights right there. So those need to be on for you to have your, your regular lights on. So um, it's got the manual glow plug relay right here. So you just hold that up when you go to start it. Uh, when it's cold out and it'll they're pretty pretty new glow plugs i just put them in there last year so you just turn it on like that hold that and as you can see 88,000. that's pretty uh believable being that it was probably just sitting in a motor pool all the time just the uh, specifications on it just like a map map case or a tool bag you can put stuff in so the exhaust these things are uh they're glass packs this is not the original exhaust you can see them down there it's uh it's true dual exhaust this uh this pintle hook it's got a two inch ball on it and I don't know if you can see that. It says it's rated for eight tons. And the militarized versions, these these uh, they had a little bit beefier suspension than the originals. Uh, Thirty-three inch tires. The the rear and the front rims are different. You can see that. Um, yeah, the, the this front rim was bent so I had to get two new ones and they had uh, they had more offset so the, the tires are sticking out a little bit farther so I went ahead and put those on the back just to give a little bit wider stance but uh, yeah 33 inch tires firestones they still have plenty of tread left you can see um, yep lights work only thing that doesn't work is this parking brake uh, I forgot to put that in the in the ad, but yeah, parking brake doesn't work, but it's a manual, so I mean I've never had an issue with it. I just keep it tied up there so I don't forget. Um, it does have four wheel drive. It's got you can see two high, four high, neutral, four low. Uh, four low is pretty pretty low. Here's the uh, I think it's an ICE uh, connection. You know, it's mil military version. But it's also got a aftermarket, um, aftermarket civilian thing right there too, for read codes and stuff. So it's got heat. Those are the blowers. Um, however, it does not have AC since this thing's a 24 volt system. The uh, where the condenser would normally be, um, or the compressor, whatever they call it, there is another alternator there. So it's 24 volts. So here, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see the two two alternators there. Instead of you know, I think the the AC compressor would normally be right here. But so this is a 24 volt system. The uh, the starter is 24 volts. Everything else is 12. Thing runs solid. It, it does leak a little bit of oil. Uh, oh, this is for uh, for winter. 
you know, plug that in. You can see it does leak a little bit of oil. And it does burn some too, being a diesel. Um, see if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, it's got the uh, vents right down here to let air in, you know, cool you down a little bit. Uh, it's got rifle racks back there. They were for the M16. So I've put, I've put a, you know, regular M4 will fit in there, or a uh, AR. And uh, there's the here's the here's the 20 volt, 24 volt charger, and it comes with a five gallon jerry can. So this uh, this thing's a trickle trickle charger. Oh, and it's got a mortar mortar can right there for your center console. So like I said, this thing links right up. You can see it's got uh, it's got lights on there. It tells you you know the status. So this just plugs right into there and this and that goes directly to the batteries. And now you can see the charge light is on. Yeah, so usually I, I could just have that you know in the window, you know, especially during the winter time. Um, yeah, it, it can help a lot because those uh, those glow plugs can suck a lot of juice. However, with the two batteries, I mean, I've never had any issues. You know, with the, I mean, it being 24 volts, kind of hard to kill that. Uh, back seat's in good condition, and it also it also folds up too. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. So pull that, and then all of a sudden that gives you a whole lot more a whole lot more space back here. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. And yeah, this is from Tennessee. So, yeah, it's got a Tennessee, Tennessee title. But yeah, you can see, I mean, it, it really opens it up. I mean, you can, you can fit a lot of junk back there. Oh, and the jerry can comes with a, with a spout too. Yep. So this this is the side that sometimes has hard time latching. Looks like it's doing fine today. But uh, oh yeah, and it's got the trailer hook up too, so you can you can tow stuff behind it. But uh, yeah, here I'll, I'll rev it a little bit, see if this will pick up the the noise. Yeah, and so it's got blackout lights right here. So, so when this is on, you can do the blackout drive right there. And so, so now if you were to turn your lights on, you know, with those without with with the blackouts on, you know, you turn turn the lights on, drive lights on. So now you can see there's no light coming out of here. However, right up there. That's where the blackout will come through. So this this will cover it, and it'll just shoot kind of like a moonlight down on the down on the you know trail that you're on. And brakes will also be disabled too. So when you hit the brakes, you know you won't have any light popping giving you away. But then, so you can just go ahead and switch that right to service. And then you can see all your all your regular lights come on. Along with the rear, kind of hard to see in the daytime, but they're, they're on. Yeah, and I think that's. Oh, and uh, this is that's aftermarket too. But yeah, I believe that's about it. Oh, one one last thing. One last thing. Uh, locking hubs, and they're, they're they're manual, so it's not automatic. Uh, the guy I bought it from put the manuals on there, so I, I guess they, apparently they had automatic hubs back then. But uh, yeah, oh, and this is just an old radio mount, and this opens up so you can you know, put stuff in it. 
<laughs> and here I'll kill that so you can actually hear it. All right, that's it. Let me know if you have any more questions.